Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. Accept the accessibility test that we have written in part 23 of this video series. All the tests we have created are designed to verify that software is functioning as we meant it to be. None of our tests have covered the visual aspects of the software, which is extremely important from the user's perspective. We have also heard about unit integration and system testing. And in this video, we are going to talk about visual testing and how to do visual testing in Cypress. Visual testing, also called as visual UI testing, is the testing performed at the pixel level. So, visual tests generate, analyze, and compare browser snapshots to detect if any pixels have changed. This pixel difference is called as visual diffs. All right, so before we move on, let's understand this functional versus visual testing. And this is the page that you'll find in the Cypress documentation. So Cypress, as we know, is a functional test runner. It drives the web application the way a user would and checks if the app functions as expected. Right. So in here, we visit a page, we find an element, we type something into it. So we are interacting with the application. Okay, we are not testing the look and feel the layout of the application. So the first step is how can I customize my functional test cases so that I can also cover some of the layout testing. So the first step is I can also write this kind of assertion. I should have class because as we know that CSS is used to style the HTML elements. All right, so we can definitely use this. Having said that, the drawback of this approach is that, yes, you are checking that a certain component has got a specific class, but you can't figure out, like in this particular case, right, we checked that this particular element contains the class completed, all right? But in here, if you could see, so Cypress uh, will see that the particular class is there, but it can't figure out whether the particular class has a uh, grade out the labeled element and adds a strike through line something like this all right so then you can say okay what i can also do is we, there is another assertion in cypress which is have.css and in there i can check the color is this and text decoration is line through right so it is grayed out all right is the color and then the strike through is basically coming from this text decoration now what uh, cypress is recommended so you can technically write a functional test asserting the css property using the have css assertion but this may quickly become cumbersome to write and maintain especially when visual styles rely on a lot of css styles having said that that is not the only problem so visual style of our application may also rely on more than just css for example you want to ensure an svg or image has been rendered correctly or shapes were correctly drawn to a canvas a canvas okay let's look at the canvas element so this is a canvas element now the thing is you know on canvas we we draw all those images we draw graph you know we draw all these different circles if you inspect this particular element if you go to the console all you see is just this canvas so you can't see these circles right so if the functional test is you click on the button right and now you see if I click on the red button, all these circles will get this red text. Okay, how are you going to verify it? Okay, there is no way we can verify it uh, with the functional approach. Okay, in this particular case, even there is no CSS that is being applied to that. Same way we have the green, blue, and reset. So how are we going to verify this particular thing? All right. So I hope uh, we understand the need of doing the visual testing. So in this video, we are going to look at uh, two plugins. We can extend the uh, Cypress behavior by using plugins, as you know. So the first one is the open source tool. It's it's free as well. So that is Cypress plugin snapshots. And then we are going to look at one of the paid version, which is a Percy. Okay. So let us open that. And when you open that, you will get this GitHub page. All right. Let's start with the installation. Okay. So you have to install uh, this plugin by this command. So you just run that in your terminal. That is step number one. Okay, I've already done that. Next one is, so you have to add that in the cypress.json. Okay, this particular line. So what I have done is I have created a custom cypress.json file which is this 
okay so in here so i've set the integration folder so let us look at that as well so in the integration folder i've created this visual testing and inside that i have this percy and snapshot and under that we have visual spec so for this particular case we are setting it to snapshot okay then base url is the base url right and uh, just to speed up the demo i have turned uh, both the video and screenshot off and then this is the line that i've copied from there and put it here okay that is the step let's go back then we have to open the plugin index.js and we have to paste this code and these two lines of code right so let us open that as well so we go to plugin index.js okay this is what you have to enter in here and you also have to write this okay and then you just have to return config let me copy this and paste this as well okay so we are done next step is we have to import this okay in cypress support index.js so let's copy this okay go to support index.js so this is my support index.js so we come in here and we paste this line okay great then there are a few more configurations that we have to uh, you know paste into our cypress.json file so you have to copy all that okay and make sure that you remove all these things this is just for the explanation purpose in a json object we can't have uh, comments added okay so just remove all these and paste it in there now there is one important thing that you have to take care of so the server port is 2121 so if uh, this port is already occupied in your system make sure that you uh, change this particular port okay and in here because that port is occupied for me to so i have changed it to 3000 okay the next thing is we have to open our test case so the command that we have to use is to match image snapshot like this okay now you can take the snapshot of the, of the whole document or you can take the snapshot of a specific element so like i said now we are going to fetch that canvas element and with the help of this we can take a screenshot of it okay like that the simple okay so this is the only thing now you can pass in the name of the snapshot if you want to if you don't provide the name of it it is going to take the test case name as the name of the snapshot file right done so all right so now let us run this okay and what i have done is in here you have this cy.snapshot okay so you just go to the terminal and say npm run cy snapshot so it's already running in my case so i click on this file now okay so first time everything has been passed because there is no benchmark yet okay so but if we go back to this snapshot folder now you see this image snapshot is here okay and in here if you click on this first one all right so this is a snapshot of the canvas okay when we clicked on that uh, button which changed the color of this circle to blue okay so we basically clicked on the blue button now this is the snapshot of the whole document okay like that then you have for green and so on okay now if i make a change so let me make a change to the buttons the layout of the button right and for that i am going to change it to 25 i'm going to change the padding to 25 and all these buttons they have this class btn class okay so let me save this okay and let us look at our application first so now this is how our application is looking all right so we have changed the layout let us see if this plugin is able to identify this change or not so we have to rerun our test case let's do that
all right so our document test has been failed okay rest all are passed because in these test cases we are only targeting the canvas element and nothing has been changed in the canvas it's just that the layout of these buttons is changed okay so if we open this you see in here we see the difference this is highlighting you the change section right so you see now we have these buttons displayed like this earlier we had these one two three and four like that so this is how they were positioned okay this is the actual so if you click on this update snapshot okay now that becomes your benchmark okay so let's check whether the snapshot has been updated or not yes so the snapshot has been updated if we rerun our test case now so our test case has been passed because it is matching with the updated snapshot now before we move on we have to understand certain limitation of this plugin so if you look at this section there is currently an issue when running all tests in cypress with this plugin and we have not uh, you know executed all our test cases we just executed few of our test cases all right so you have to accept it since this is an open source this is a free tool so there will always be issues the other problem with this particular plugin is that you know it has mixed your functional and visual test cases so might be your functional test cases has been passed but if your visual tests are failed right it is still going to mark that test case as fail and you just want to separate these two contexts if the functional test is fail you want to say that hey there's a functional bug but if you if your visual test is fail you want to raise it differently like you know the layout has been changed okay so in my personal view the better approach is to go for the other plugin which is percy you have to create an account in percy first then you have to log in and create a new project let us give it a name uh, cypress demo app all right so now percy supports all these different things we have to work with cypress so let us open the cypress documentation in a separate tab and i go to project setting and i would like to make a change first so auto approve branch so if you are working on master and you make any change it will auto approve that right i don't want that to happen so i just want to uh, delete it from here and i say save okay let's go to the documentation now so first thing that you have to do is you have to install this then we have to import this line in cypress support command.js at the top just import this line okay so the next step is in the cypress plugin index.js you have to write this code index.js and this is the line that you have to enter and you also have to add in this line okay that's step number three i guess then step number four this is the command that you have to use every project uh, has got a unique percy token so if you're working on window you have to use this command if you're working on unix you have to use this command okay and then the final the command to execute a project is percy exec hyphen hyphen cypress run okay so here is my token for this particular project let me grab this in the package.json i have created this terminal command so you just have to say npx and this and then whatever that you want to execute okay so we open a new terminal and we say set percy token equal to this this is step number one then we have to execute this okay but let's look at our test cases first so we are using the same thing okay we are using the same uh, page that i have created this one okay now let us change our 
padding here in the page to this okay let's look at the page first so this is our page now all right and in the test we are doing pretty much the same okay so it is going to capture a screenshot of all of these all right let's just focus on this first test case we let's take the screenshot of the whole document all right let's execute only this so let us execute our command npm run and then we have cy.percy so this has started all right and it has created the bell number one you have to take care of few things so uh, under the hood this percy uses puppeteer so if if the build uh, is failing in your case there might be a situation that uh, you need to whitelist puppeteer all right so just take a note of it otherwise you will get the error so this has started let's uh, go back to our project and click on builds so yeah we are receiving the first build and let's uh, wait for this to be completed okay so you could see uh, the test case has been passed and the build is also ready so you could see it's saying processing snapshots all right so you see one unreviewed one snapshot right so the first time when you do that you have to open this and you have to approve these changes okay so currently there is just one screenshot so you have to say approve this build Okay, so now this becomes your benchmark. Now, if we go back and make a change to this page, so we just go back and change it back to 25. Let me save this and run our thing again. All right, so you see, build two is started. And if we go back to our project, here also we see the second build has started. All right, so our second test case has been passed. So let's go back to Percy. Okay, so processing is completed, and now we see one unreviewed, one snapshot. So if, let's open that. And now again you see the difference all right so it is showing you the area that has been changed all right it's those buttons now okay you can again approve this and then this becomes your baseline all right all right so now let's go back to uh, vs code and we can see that our test case is passed so this is how you can separate your functional testing with visual testing but then it's still important to mention that hey there are some visual defects so how can we mention that something has been failed so for that you have let's open the project settings you can go to this integration tab and you can use uh, github gitlab and bitbucket and in here you can build the pipeline right and cypress will take care of the functional test cases and Perse will take care of the visual testing right and in the pipeline if functional fail the whole pipeline is failed right if the visual test cases fail again the pipeline is failed right but you can clearly mention that okay because of what reason this pipeline is being failed all right and if you want to know more about it please go and check this video out so you have cypress plus percy end-to-end -end functional and visual testing so i hope uh, you like this thank you so